A tradition since the 1990s, Thunder on the Ridge is Polk County's largest event for fireworks, live music, children's activities, games, and arts and crafts vendors. With a Guinness World Record for the most sparklers lit simultaneously, Haines City's Thunders on the Ridge is a 4th of July celebration unlike any other. The details are coming up on Polk Place. Man, your host for Polk Place, and joining me in the studio today is Malia Hinkle, the Recreation Supervisor with the City of Haines City. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I know that Thunder on the Ridge is one of Haines City's biggest events each year. Why don't you tell me about what people can expect? Well, it is. It's our largest event that we have, and we get people um, from all over the county, um, sometimes even the state, that come out for this event. So it's on July 4th, so it's actually Saturday. Sometimes that's confusing to people if it falls during the week, but we always have it on July 4th. And it'll start at 3 p.m. and it goes till 10 p.m. And we have one of the largest fireworks displays in Polk County. Oh, that's excellent. Yes. What other kind of, I assume we're not doing fireworks at 3 o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon, so what other kind of things do we have there? Well, we're going to have food and craft vendors. Um, so there's no admission to get into the event, but if you want to purchase food or um, buy from our craft vendors, you can do that as well. So that would be whatever you want to spend. And then we're also going to have entertainment. Typically, we'll have a national recording artist that comes out for this event, but we wanted to change it up this year and do um, a more diverse uh, group of entertainers from around here in Orlando area to kind of give some of our local talent a chance to showcase uh, what they can do. So we'll start that at 3 o'clock. We've got Bonnie Salary. She's a local high school teacher. Um, she's from Haines City, so that's a really great great start off for the day um, then we also have a group called gray they're from daytona florida they do indies rock so that'll be definitely something fun they're a younger group um, they're going to be a great time uh, we also have um, coal mountain band which is a group um, of guys coming in they sing country music so they'll be coming down from georgia and then we have a group called Sweet Bee and the Boys from Orlando, Florida. They do some R&B type music. And then our headliner is going to be Chas Kincaid. She is actually from uh, Polk County, Florida, and she now lives in Nashville. She is one of our up and comers. She was here for us at Ribs on the Ridge. So we're really excited to have her back and be our headliner for the event. That sounds like a really good, diverse group of entertainers. Yes. So who's your favorite? Oh, that's tough. Um, Bonnie Salary is definitely um, a childhood friend of mine, so I kind of would probably favor her more, but I'm really excited to meet the other groups. I've really enjoyed being in contact with them, um, and we just have a great, diverse, and nice group of people coming out this year. So Bonnie Salary, what type of music does she sing? She kind of does a bunch of different covers. She has um, tried out for American Idol several different times, um, so she is on her way up as well. Um, so she'll be singing a bunch of different stuff, and um, we're really excited to have her. She does our national anthem um, for most of our events. She does a phenomenal job. And then Chas Kincaid is our other local um, one that's going to come out. So she does country and she just released her first EP album. And so we're really, really excited to have her come out too. She does a fantastic job. So what types of, you know, food vendors are there going to be? What can people expect to eat? Well, we'll have a diverse group. Um, we always have a really good selection that come out. Um, so food-wise, we'll have kind of your typical event stuff, you know, funnel cakes, pizza, hamburgers, hot dogs, um, boiled peanuts, all kinds of things like that. So something for everybody. Um, and then we will also have a beer garden. So um, you can't walk around with alcohol, but we will on our tennis courts. We kind of fix them up really nice and have a beer garden out there. So um, if you want to go have a drink, it's right there near the stage, so you'll get a good view of the stage and you can do that. Um, and then our craft vendors, we typically um, have a lot of homemade jewelry and things like that. So we'll, we'll have a lot of local groups that come out um, to do that. Sometimes we have the high school groups that'll bring, um, kind of do like a bake sale thing to raise money um, for their group at school. So we may have a few of those out as well. So there'll be something kind of for everybody. That's awesome. I heard there's also kind of a special thing going to be happening. Yes, we have the U.S. SOCOM Paracommandos coming out this year 
for our event. They're going to come out shortly before the fireworks. Um, the fireworks are at 9.15, so we're still working on the time frame for them. Um, but they're going to come out and do a jump onto our beach front line, so we're really excited to have them. And we actually, uh, this Saturday, they told us that they would allow um, one of our employees to do a tandem jump with them when they're practicing and doing things like that. So our new uh, marketing and event specialist, Stephanie Lewis, will be jumping out of an airplane on oh Saturday. Um, and the ledger is going to allow her to wear their GoPro. So we're going to have a media day. So it'll be really exciting um, and good advertisement for the event. Um, so we're very excited about that. So tell me a little bit more about them. So who are they and what do they do? Um, they are a group um, that kind of go around to different events and they do things like this. They'll jump out, you know, to support what we're doing. And so since it's our July 4th event, um, we wanted to get with them to see if they would come out um, because, you know, we're celebrating our country. Um, so what better way to do it than have, um, you know, our armed forces come out and do something special for us. So um, we're really excited to have them and we have more information about them on our website, um, which is where you can get more information about the event as well. Okay, speaking of the website, um, tell me what kind of information they can find there. I know the event sponsor is Miracle Toyota. Yes, that's correct. Um, we have worked with Miracle Toyota um, several years um, in the past, and so they do like to be our title sponsor sponsor for Thunder on the Ridge. Um, so we are happy to partner with them again. Um, if you go to our website, which is www.thunderontheridge.com, you can get all the information I spoke about today. Um, it has our entertainers on there. Um, if somebody is interested in being a food or craft vendor, the applications are on there as well. Um, as well as sponsorship applications. So you'll see Miracle Toyota is our title sponsor, so they're on there, as well as some of our other sponsors. And you can also um, get more information about um, the SOCOM Paracommando group as well that's coming out. And we have links to our Facebook page, and we have a Twitter and Instagram and things like that that the city is working on um, being more active with that. So on our Facebook page, we have a special one just for Thunder on the Ridge, and we're going to um, be doing a few competitions. We're going to try that out and um, see how that works for some fun little VIP seats that we have um, and different things like that. So you can get all of the information on our website. Um, we will have some reserved seating in front of the stage. It's going to be $5 a ticket, so you can do that online or the day of the event. Um, so also look for that as well on the website. Yeah, that's probably the best way to experience it so you know that you can get right in on the action. Yes, exactly. Are you guys going to have any sort of hashtag that you want people to use to yes. tag the event? We do. Um, we have hashtag Thunder on the Ridge. Um, so all of that is on our website as well, too. So we really want people to promote it. Um, like I said, we're doing it a little different this year um, with some local bands and things like that. Um, but, you know, they need that opportunity to showcase their talents, too. So um, we really want people to promote the event and come out. Um, if you have any questions, um, our contact information is on the website, um, but you can call our community center at 863-421-3700, and they can give you more detailed information if you can't um, find anything you want on the website. So this is, I know this has been happening for years and years. So what, what's your favorite thing that's ever happened on at one of these events? Thunder on the Ridge, I would have to say the amount of people that come out and support this event. It really doesn't matter how much we advertise, um, but we've got the same families and then some, obviously, that come out for Thunder on the Ridge. And it really is a great event. Um, there's so much support for it. And it's such a great day to celebrate um, and be with your family because, I mean, we live in uh, the best country in the world. So it's a great day to honor it and celebrate that. Absolutely. What about this sparkler thing? When did that happen? <laughs> well, last year. Year, we broke a Guinness World Record. Uh, we don't have plans to break another record this <laughs> year per se. I have a feeling that we probably will in the future. Um, but that was something really, really special that we did last year. Um, it was definitely a lot of work and probably one of the most stressful things I've ever done to get that um, to accomplish because when you're working with a thousand people um, lighting something on fire, um, that's definitely a lot of work. But um, we were really excited to do that last year and it turned out great. Um, so we had a lot of support from that as well. So um, I would say you can look in the future for us to do something like that again, um, but it's not happening this year. Yeah, so. I can imagine that be just a little stressful. It requires a few more fire marshals and stuff out there at the yes, event. Yes, yes. So, and the fireworks display. 
I mean, how long does that normally um, last? Typically, that's going to last about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, that's kind of what we use to kick off um, the end of our event. Um, so Chas Kincaid, she's our final performer, and she will perform until 9.15, and then um, we will have our national anthem sung, and then we will kick off the fireworks. So it'll be a really, really nice um, day to spend with the family. And again, it starts at 3 p.m., um, and you ex can expect the fireworks to end about 9.45, 10 o'clock. That's the fun thing about events like these is every single year is different. Every yes. single year is unique. There's new performers, anything. Yes. Um, so is there anything else you'd like to share? I think that about covers it. Um, we just really encourage families to come out. Um, you know, if you're in town, we would love to have you. Um, it's a great event. And if you have any questions, please contact us because um, we would love to help you out any way we can. And it's at Lake Eva Park? Lake Eva Park. Yep, the address is 555 Ledwith Avenue in Haines City, Florida. Awesome. Well, I thank you so much for coming out today. Thank you for having me. The City of Haines City and Miracle Toyota present Thunder on the Ridge, featuring Chas Kincaid, Sweet Bee and the Boys, Cole Mountain Band, Gray, and Bonnie Salary, scheduled for Saturday, July 4th at Lake Eva Park, 555 Ledwith Avenue, Haines City. A variety of artists will take the stage this year, beginning at 3 p.m., followed by the largest fireworks display in Polk County. There will be plenty of arts, crafts, and food vendors, and other activities on site. Come join the fun. General admission is free. Reserve seating is $5 per person and offer seats close to the stage. For more information, please visit thunderontheridge.com or call 863-421-3700.